shit go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy, 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, and overall a blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button. Share this video. And let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So we are on the road to 2K, man. We are currently at 1,830 subscribers. So, man, if you're just watching this, you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, man. Help your boy get to 2K, man. I'm trying to get to 2K by July 1st because that will be my one-year anniversary of this YouTube page. I'm very happy about the growth that I've experienced. So, make sure y'all please join this family, join this movement, man, and hit that subscribe button. So, with that being said right there, we all know that, you know, Nike has been paying homage to the original Duck Camo Air Max 90s. That came out a little while back you know we got the reverse camos early this year for air max day and then we went ahead and got the green camos your boy took a big l on those but it's all good when it comes to that and now we are getting the third variation of this shoe and we are getting the orange camos now of course with the camos we had seen different textures on camo as far as you know the coloring of it and stuff like that with the reverse camos it was a little darker with the green camos it was a little lighter and with this camo right here this one is completely orange all the way out you know it's still got the camo hints and stuff like that but the shoe is pretty much orange all the way around you got your little hints of black i believe the colorway is total orange slash camo so they're definitely staying staying true to that right there so overall with this shoe i think this shoe is actually pretty dope i think it's fire now for me personally for me to actually get this shoe i would have had to have had you know the reverses joints and the green camos but these right here i feel like if you missed out on any of the camos that came out this year i feel like this will be you know a great pickup so you can have at least one of the camos that actually came out this year man because we don't even know when's the next time we're actually going to see you know another camo uh, as far as air max goes now my only thing with this shoe is, is every time i look at this shoe this shoe literally, literally reminds me of Debo on next Friday when he's in his all red, all orange county, county jail jumpsuit. So that's the only reason why it kind of, I'm just like, uh, I don't know, because I ain't trying to walk around looking like Debo. You feel what I'm saying? But that's just in my personal opinion right there. But like I said, man, this shoe is definitely dope. This shoe is fire. And for a price, price point, $140, man. At this day and age, that's just something that you really just can't beat. As far as like a hype sneaker, a fire sneaker and stuff like that. As far as hype sneakers that are super fire and stuff like that. The lowest you're going to get is your, you know, your dunks or your SBs, you feel me? And they just for a hundred price, hundred dollars. So you can't beat that. But right here, this is like next level, right next to that. You really can't beat 140 at all, man. So right here with this shoe. Now, the only thing with this shoe is... It's just this shoe is releasing June 19th. Now, I am going to put up the store list, you know, in this video like I usually do because with, with this release right now is, is that even though it's June 19th, that shoe will only be releasing overseas. So, once again, I will have the store list up, you know, so you can go ahead and check out if you even want to try to enter one of these raffles or something like that and see if you can have a chance to actually getting yourself a pair early now there has been no release date as far as when the shoe is going to release stateside now since it's releasing june 19th you know you know overseas and stuff like that i really feel like that you know a stateside release will not be too far away it just depends on everything that's going on right now you know jordan brand and nike really pushed back a lot of dates and stuff like that so we just got to see where this shoe is actually going to fit in is this going to be one of the shoes they'll throw in there if it's like a dry week or something like that or they need to get people back in the flow and things and then on top of that you know when this shoe actually is released on the sneakers app because we all know it's probably going to be a sneakers app exclusive release and some other places might have raffles and stuff like that fedex just put out you feel me that they're back to regular operations and stuff like that so i say as far as the shipping and stuff goes for nike 
you know, as far as you know, everybody waiting three or four weeks for their shoes and stuff like that. FedEx said they're back on track, they're back on regular schedule and things of that nature. So that's one thing that you really wouldn't have to worry about, you know, when it comes to actually going ahead and picking up the shoe off of Nike, off the sneakers that or what have you, you know, because that's the big thing. People really been upset about the shipping and stuff like that. Now, also, I'm going ahead and got to talk about the resale. So on StockX, I believe in my size, the lowest ask for the shoe is like 260 something, but I think people are paying around 240 to like 250 for the shoe. And as you look at the other sizes that, you know, has the high value points of like 260, 250 and stuff like that, or even a little higher, most people are trying to pay like 250 to 245 for the shoe and stuff like that. So as of right now, if you actually wanted to get the shoe early, you could probably get it at a decent price. Maybe you have to go ahead and just, you know, take a bid and stuff like that and see where it's going with that. But also you can mess around and just go ahead and buy the shoe because it's not going for like $300, $400 now. After taxes and shipping and stuff like that or whatever, we'll just have to see after that. But other than that though, you're really not paying too much to actually get the shoe early. So you can definitely check that out. You dig what I'm saying as far as I'm looking at it. And it's looking like the best sizes are actually like the bigger sizes. Like usually when I look at sizes 7 through 9 or something like that, that usually is like the sizes that everybody's going for. But I'm starting to see that the trend that's going on right now is that smaller sizes are starting to be a little cheaper than bigger sizes when it comes to other shoes. And Air Max is one of them. Like smaller sizes definitely go cheaper you know what I'm saying, then the bigger sizes. So as far as resale goes, I say you go for a size 10 and up because that's where it's looking like where the high resale value is for the shoe. I feel like that's probably the sizes that's gonna sell out the fastest. Now this shoe is gonna move completely ASAP. Like this shoe is not gonna sit at all. But I definitely feel like if you were a smaller size, you definitely have a better chance at copping the shoe, whether other than, you know, somebody who has a bigger size foot like me like i remember before like size 12 that would that used to be like a golden size right there to have because you would hit on everything because once again at the time as far as reselling game goes a lot of people was going for them small sizes and stuff like that so you go ahead and get a size 12 size 12 was one of the least profitable shoes out there but now i don't know what happened i don't know what's up in the water I don't know if a lot of people wear size 12 on earth now or something like that, but size 10 and up, especially that 12, man, that's that's straight money right there. Then we all know 12 and a half is definitely that unicorn size right there, so you can never go wrong with that. And if you could cop one of those really, really small sizes like that four and a half, that five and a half, you know, you got yourself a golden ticket right there as well, man. So that's just something that you just want to, check out look at you know and strategize on if you really just don't like the shoe and you just want to go ahead and pick the shoe up for 140 and flip it for however much you know you want to flip it for now do i think this shoe will be a quick flip most definitely you can get a quick flip off the shoe for 140 i still believe after you know the shoe drops and stuff like that you can probably still sell the shoe for like 240 250 and stuff like that but definitely over time over time this shoe will increase in price and you can make a pretty hefty amount. So of course, if you want to go ahead and do the quick flip, do your quick flip, get your money back ASAP, make your quick profit. There's nothing wrong with that. Nobody's knocking you for doing that at all, especially your boy. Definitely not knocking you for doing that. But at the same time, if you sit there and you hold this shoe, if you pick up maybe like three, four pairs and you hold on to the shoe and stuff like that, man, you can definitely see your money double or triple I guarantee it, man. It always happens, especially, like I said, with this Air Max Duck camo family that's going on right now. I'm telling you, we don't know the next time we're going to see an actual duck camo. You feel me? Like, I, I thought after the reverse camos, we was good. Then they gave us the green. Now they're giving us the orange. So it's looking like right now, Nike's just doing the trend, just riding this duck camo wave and stuff like that. So we never know. Probably after 2020, when's the next time we're going to see a duck camo? So hey that's something to definitely think about when it comes to resale because a lot of people actually value that right there like when's the next time you're gonna see this shoe when's the next time you're gonna be able to cop this shoe or it just might be one of the shoes like yeah they came out in 2020 man and hey if you missed out you missed out now you gotta pay that resale price so 
like I said, I feel like that definitely will happen in all, and this always happens towards the end of the year and stuff like that. When people miss out on certain pairs and stuff like that, they always try to go back and, you know, cop something that they missed out on. So that's when you can definitely up the price then, if you dig what I'm saying, as far as resale goes. So that's just something I want to put out there to y'all, man. So let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below. Is this shoe a cop or is this a drop? Or is this something that you go ahead and flip? Or is this something that you want to go ahead and throw in the collection, man? Do you have the duck camos the reverse and the green camos and you need this one or did you cop the reverse camos the green camos and you're trying to get this one so you have all the camos that dropped this year or are you like me well, i didn't go for the reverse camos but i did miss out on the green so are you like me and you just like you know what i might as well just go ahead and get one to say i got one of the you know duck camos in the duck camo family man let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and keep on liking and subscribing to the page. It's always, you know, a blessing. I greatly appreciate it, man. We are on the road to two pace to show your boy some love off the rip. You dig what I'm saying? And check this out, bro. If you search for good, you shall find a favor. If you search for evil, it shall find you. Proverbs 11, 27. We walk in faith and not by sight, but what is seen as temporary, what is unseen as forever. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe out there. And it's your boy 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feeble soul. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to go on showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made these four wanna listen. You know these niggas hate fucking tell her, get out of here.